Because of broad community interest, city councilors want to make sure that the public is getting regular updates on all the work in addressing houselessness in our city. This week, we have big news to share. The city council approved buying an approximately one acre site at 154 Northeast Franklin Avenue, the site of the Rainbow Motel, for $4.55 million. The city will buy the motel with general fund dollars, which means we could use it for any desired use that's allowed in that zone. Buying the motel is an opportunistic public investment that could meet a variety of short-term and long-term community needs, including, but not limited to, an immediate need for transitional shelter, as well as future possible site for a city hall, affordable housing, a civic plaza, or other public uses. The city anticipates using the property as a low barrier shelter beginning in late spring or early summer 2022. It will add 40 to 60 beds and will likely be used as a shelter for two to three years. The shelter will be operated by a nonprofit community-based organization, which will be selected by a competitive process. Buying the motel is just one of many efforts we're working on to get people shelter as quickly as possible. I wanna emphasize an important piece of this puzzle. Until there are more places for people to go, the city is limited in how it manages camps in public places. When we develop more shelter beds for our unhoused community members, we can provide them a safe place to go instead of them simply moving on to another public place to sleep. This council has a goal to develop facilities and housing for 500 individuals experiencing homelessness. We're making progress. Here's what else is going on in addition to the news about the Rainbow Motel. For outdoor shelters, we currently have 20 to 30 sites in development. City staff are continuing to review the two proposals received from Central Oregon Villages for the outdoor shelters. They are for a senior women's shelter with 10 units and a tiny home unit shelter with six sites. Members of the review committee met with the proposer last week as part of the review process. No decisions have been made yet on either of the proposals or where the proposed outdoor shelters may be located in Bend. Any decision to award contracts for either outdoor shelter proposal will likely go before city council for approval in February. Once awarded a contract, the organization will conduct the very important step of neighborhood outreach. In other news, St. Vincent de Paul has a 10 unit village under construction, which with anticipated completion in March, 2022. Next is the Division Street Shelter, which is the Project Turnkey Shelter. This is a recently purchased motel that the city bought to remodel and create emergency shelter units. It will be a low barrier shelter with a 28 room capacity. A contract with Neighborhood Impact is, Neighbor Impact, excuse me, is being developed to operate it. The earliest possible use of this facility would be this winter, with renovations occurring in summer 2022. The City of Bend is hosting a virtual community open house to share more information from 6 to 7 p.m. on Tuesday, January 25th. See bendoregon.gov slash project dash turnkey for more information. I'd like to talk about the Second Street Shelter next. This is our designated permanent warming shelter operated by shelter Shepherd's House with a capacity of 90 beds. This facility is consistently full. The city has received a proposal to operate the location as a navigation center, which would mean services would be offered during the day. This has been something missing in our continuum of care for our houseless neighbors and is an exciting opportunity. The city is evaluating the proposal and we anticipate a contract to come to council in February. Moving on to our safe parking program. This program, which allows some property owners to provide limited overnight parking, currently has 12 spots available. To create even more capacity for safe parking beyond those 12 spots, the city is promoting the safe parking program with local nonprofits, businesses, and faith communities to encourage them to become safe parking partners. Staff is connecting interested partners with details about the safe parking program and with REACH to learn more about how to provide case management and support services if they would like to become program partners. This is a relatively simple way to make a big impact. Please go to bendoregon.gov slash houselessness, and then click on safe parking on the left-hand menu. A quick note, in an effort to improve efficiency and partnerships, we are moving toward developing a joint office on houselessness. The City of Bend Deschutes County application included in this legislation that would fund eight pilot projects across the state has been approved, providing $1 million to help cover costs associated with this coordinated approach. This legislation and funding will be considered in the upcoming legislative session, which begins in February. 
a joint city county meeting to discuss this concept further along with other projects that we are partnering on is planned for January 28th. We'd also like to thank the county for their recent investment of ARPA funds to go towards finding solutions for people who need shelter. Lastly, I would like to talk about the city's efforts to manage the city's rights of way to improve health and safety. City staff continue to meet regularly with area service providers to coordinate resources and assess challenges in providing support for individuals camping throughout the city. City staff continue to distribute garbage bags, resource lists, and fire prevention brochures to individuals experiencing houselessness. Staff is working on a more user-friendly way for community members to submit requests for services in the right of way to respond to public access and safety concerns. On January 10th, a city contractor cleaned up 5,340 pounds of waste in the central district off of 2nd Street. They also picked up 30 shopping carts, pressure washed them, and returned them to the appropriate stores. Staff and contractors have posted notices requiring camps in the central district around 2nd Street to remove sidewalk obstructions. These are not eviction notices, but communications about the needs to keep sidewalks open. The city worked to clear sidewalk obstructions within the right of way of 2nd Street that were preventing pedestrians from using the sidewalks. The city has also posted no parking signs in the catch basins along the west side of Hunnell Road to allow the city to maintain its infrastructure. On behalf of the city council, we'd like to thank all of you for your input and for your solution-oriented communications. And as always, we'd like to thank the service providers who work tirelessly to ensure our houseless neighbors have a dignified and safe environment to live.